This presentation is the diagnostic yield of lapar laparoscopic lymph node biopsy is superior to the percutaneous technique in cases of suspected lymphoma by Sean Daly, Rush University Medical Center. I'd like to thank the society, uh, esteemed moderators, fellow presenters, colleagues, and guests for allowing me to present our group's work here today. Our study is entitled, Laparoscopy has a superior diagnostic yield to percutaneous image-guided biopsy for suspected intra-abdominal lymphoma. Uh, we have no disclosures. Optimal treatment of lymphoma requires accurate tissue diagnosis. When a patient is suspected of having a new diagnosis of lymphoma, a recurrence of previously treated lymphoma, or transformation of lymphoma, a tissue diagnosis becomes mandatory. Initially, the tissue is analyzed for histologic features to confirm a diagnosis of lymphoma. However, lymphoma often requires additional testing of the tissue to fully characterize the disease process. These ancillary tests include immunohistochemistry, flow cytometry, FISH, PCR, and DNA microarray. A significant amount of tissue may be needed for these tests to be performed. When available, enlarged or abnormal peripheral lymph nodes are the preferred method to obtain tissue diagnosis. However, when a patient presents with no peripheral lymph adenopathy, intra-abdominal nodes may be the only option. Tissue from these enlarged lymph nodes may be obtained by one of the following three techniques. Laparotomy, now mainly historical since less morbid techniques have been developed, laparoscopy, and image-guided percutaneous techniques. Several studies have demonstrated laparoscopy to be superior to laparotomy for obtaining tissue. However, no study has been performed comparing laparoscopy to an image-guided percutaneous technique in the following patient population. Patients with exclusively intra-abdominal lymph node or patients with in, uh, initially high suspicion of lymphoma. The primary endpoint of our study was to evaluate the diagnostic yield of laparoscopy compared to percutaneous techniques in the above patient population. Our study was a collaboration between Rush University Medical Center, University of Chicago Hospitals, and North Shore University Health Systems. Our study enrolled 60 patients that fit our inclusion criteria. Of the 60 patients enrolled, 34 of these patients received a laparoscopic biopsy, and 26 patients received percutaneous biopsy. All demographic data between the two cohorts showed no significant, uh, significant uh, The location of the targeted lymphadenopathy is shown here. The majority of sampled lymph nodes in the percutaneous co cohort were periaortic, and the majority of sampled lymph nodes in the laparoscopic cohort were mesenteric. Both cohorts had a majority of patients diagnosed with lymphoma. More patients in the laparoscopic group were found to have benign disease on pathology. An important feature of this slide is the two patients that were found to have diagnostic biopsies. Both of these patients were found in the percutaneous cohort. Four main outcomes were assessed in our study, histologic diagnostic yield, ancillary testing yield, 30-day complication, and 30-day readmission rates. The 30-day complication rate was found to be between 5 and 8% and not significantly different between the two cohorts. The 30-day readmission rate was found to be between 3 and 6%, and again, not significant between the uh, different cohorts. Both techniques were successful in obtaining tissue for histologic diagnosis. A 92% diagnostic yield in, in the percutaneous cohort and 100% diagnostic yield in the laparoscopic cohort. However, the diagnostic yield for ancillary testing was significantly different between the cohorts. 68.2% in the percutaneous group and a significantly higher 95.5% in the laparoscopic group. So our data showed that laparoscopic and image-guided percutaneous techniques um, yield a similar ability to obtain tissue for histologic diagnosis However, laparoscopy was significantly better at obtaining adequate tissue for the ancillary testing. So our data suggests that laparoscopy may be better suited than percutaneous techniques for patients with exclusively intra-abdominal lymphadenopathy and a previous diagnosis of lymphoma, a high suspicion of harboring lymphoma, or a need for ancillary testing of the tissue. And I'd like to give a special thanks to the following group of collaborators and mentors for their guidance and hard work on this project. nice and uh, relevant presentation. And question about case selection. So how big did the intra-abdominal lymph nodes have to be before you ventured in laparoscopically to go and find them? Because 
I noticed that a lot of your lymph nodes you did laparoscopically were mesenteric, and going into this mesentery looking for one lymph node seems uh, somewhat kind of challenging. Um, in terms of the lymph nodes, we did not have um, a specific size requirement. I think that um, going back and looking at the data, it was um, subjectively um, kind of assessed that we'd be able to obtain these lymph nodes either by either method. Um, another uh, criteria that we did use in selecting some of the patients is if they had a soft tissue mass um, above two centimeters. That was a, a criteria that we did set in the beginning. However, none of our patients presented with that specific um, indication. So they were just uh, lymph nodes that we felt um, subjectively that we were able to get laparoscopic or percutaneously by our IR team. One quick question. When you do them laparoscopically, how do you take the biopsy sample? Do you excise it or do you use a laparoscopic biopsy gun? What's the method to obtain the tissue? Um, and one benefit for the laparoscopic group, and that's a great question, is that um, in going um, to obtain these tissues that way, we are able to perform an excisional biopsy where the percutaneous route um, in using the biopsy gun is more of an incisional biopsy. So I think that contributes largely to the amount of tissue that we're able to obtain for pathology to run all these ancillary tests. Thank you very much.